so we uh, used, did dialysis tubing to model um, cell membranes. Okay, so what we did was we constructed five different cells using um, the dialysis tubing. So that's what it looks like, and the dialysis tubing acted as a semi-permeable membrane for our experiment. And we then filled each with um, varying amounts of water and glucose. So we filled cell A and cell E with um, solely water, and then we filled um, cell B with 20% glucose, cell C with 50%, and cell D with 80% glucose. And after that, we um, measured the mass of that so we could have the initial mass of each cell. And we then um, put them into corresponding beaker solutions. And all of the beaker solutions were filled with water aside from cell E, which was 80%. Glucose, so we had a range of um, isotonic, hypertonic, and hypotonic solutions. And after that, we observed um, the mass in intervals of 10, 20, and 30 minutes so we could identify the different changes. Yeah, so just in the pictures, you can't really tell, but they were in bigger beakers, but this is what they looked like. They were in these little like, plastics. Um, from this lab, we concluded that water molecules move from an area in which they're highly concentrated to an area in which they're lowly concentrated through diffusion in order to reach equilibrium. And we also found that um, the rate of diffusion depends on something known as the concentration gradient, which means that the greater the difference in solution, um, the greater the rate of diffusion will be, while as the closer the concentration is to water, the slower the rate of diffusion will be. water on the inside of the cell and water on the outside. So in cells B, C, D, and E, you can see the mass is changing. This one decreased as water exited the cell and went to a area of high concentration with glucose in it. And then cells B, C, and D, their masses all increased as water went into the cell because they had a higher concentration of um, glucose and a lower concentration of water. So it just really illustrates that from an area of high concentration water to an area of low concentration water. And here you can see like this is isotonic, this, these three are hypotonic, and then the last one is hypertonic. So um, for water salt or glucose moving through the membrane, we got um, that water does, glucose does not, and we didn't test for salt. Um, and so like basically what you can see, and um, if you look at B through D, mostly C and D, um, the mass was increasing, um, which showed obviously that some kind of molecule was diffusing into the cell. Um, and then C, which decreased because it had um, a, the glucose solution on the inside and the water outside, proved that glucose was not moving through the cell. It was just water. Or sorry, water on the inside and glucose on the outside. Um, and so... The concentration gradient, which is what helps us see that also, is the fact that so cell D, which increased um, in mass twice as much as cell C, kind of going off of what they just talked about, was that it was 80% glucose versus 50. So there was less water in there. So water was diffusing into the lower concentration area. Um, and we ne could you, it was unobservable to see any glucose moving in because, um, or out as evident by cell C.
cell B looks pretty problematic. Yeah, we got some weird numbers for B. If it was like following the trend that these other graphs were, it would have gone slightly less than cell C, but it would have gone like that. Yeah, also, cell A should be more steady because it was water on water, so it was already near equilibrium. Yeah, so the, what are some sources of error that you guys identified as possible causes for those? We might not have tied it off to build it Okay. It's possible that, like, as hard as you try to tie them, that air bubbles and things get caught inside the dialysis tubing. Okay, do any of them demonstrate that you might have had a leak? Possibly B. Or A. Yeah, if you had a leak, though, you'd expect that, that, that last 30 minute time period to go down still, right? Um, okay. Any other questions for these guys? Great. Thank you. Nice job, everybody. Great. So let's get our working model back out then, and let's see what we can add to it.